hi and welcome to this beautiful blender tutorial today I'll be teaching you how to create these four materials rough gold material polished gold material polished silver material and then rough silver materials people like using gold and silver materials in their project but don't know how to create them it's not that tricky let's get right into blender and start i'm using blender 2.79 in case you want to know so we'll be deleting the default cube by pressing x and then delete shift a to add mesh and then plane scale the plane up good shift a again and add mesh monkey there is a monkey here called Susan, Susan or Susan or whatever. You can call it whatever you want. <laughs> oh, the monkey is going to rest on the plane. So, rotate it by pressing R and then X to rotate it on the X axis. Then pull it down a bit for the head to rest on the plane. R and then X to rotate it slightly on the X as is then pull it up good our monkey is resting on the plane go ahead and add subdivision surface modifier and increase the view to 2 that's enough after that click on smooth shading now change the rendering engine from blender render to cycles and then let's push this thing in let me drag this thing up good next we are going to create our lightning for this project so go to the world tab here and click on use nodes change from color input to environmental texture input and open up uh, a very nice environmental texture you have i have one here and i'll be i'll be putting the link in the description below so after this tutorial you can download it right below uh, uh, in the description there open image this is how it looks like if you change from solid viewport shading mode to rendered viewport shading mode you can you can see this beautiful environmental texture i like to use this because it is having a good amount of light coming in from the outside into the room this lights up our scene very well and it makes it beautiful so we are done with the world go ahead and select the lamp object here and click on this little lamp icon to open this tab under notes click use notes let's go back to rendered viewport shading mode go ahead and change from point lamp to sun and decrease the strength to let's say 1.5 good our scene is looking very beautiful select the mesh select the monkey monkey mesh here and go to the material stop and click on new We'll be adding a new material to this monkey under surface click on the diffuse bsdf and change it to principled bsdf now about to render that viewport shading mode click this icon and select node editor we'll be creating all our nodes right here zoom in 
and change the base color of the principal BSDF. Change from RGB to hex and write this figure for gold. Gold hex uh, number is D4AF37 and hit enter. And now increase this slider, this metallic slider to one. This makes it completely metal and turn up the roughness to 0.2 this is looking beautiful this is our first material go ahead and name it uh, polished gold good click on the plus icon here to duplicate this material you can name this one rough gold we just duplicated this material so we are going to make it rough by touching the roughness value here and adding a displacement map how do we do that shift a to add an input texture and moose grave or mass grave you can call it whatever plug the color to the color input of the principal BSDF increase the scale up to let's say 100 increase the details to 3 we are going to make this the displacements of this monkey object right here so shift a again and add vector bump plug in the color to the normal of the bump and go ahead and drag the normal output of the bump map to the displacement we can see that this displaces the material but this is not what we are looking for this is not what we want how do we correct this shift a and come down here to converter and add math change it from add to multiply and then drag down the value to 0 0.004 Now you can see that this brings down or scales down our bumps. Let's increase the value to 0 0.014 to see how it looks. Beautiful. Good. This is what we are looking for go ahead and plug the normal output of the bump map into the roughness of the principal bsdf and bingo there you go you can even increase the scale of the texture to 200 and look at that look at how beautiful this is You can go ahead and increase the brightness of the gold by pushing it all the way up. We are done with this material. So click on the plus sign again to duplicate this material and name this rough silver. And then change the color from hex to c0 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 and hit enter and then increase the brightness to all the way up we are done with the rough silver material let's go back and select the polished gold material and click on the plus sign to duplicate it and let's change the color 
to server you remember what we typed in for the hex of the server try it c0 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 and hit enter that's it that's it and then increase the brightness all the way up you can do the same thing for the gold material here so we've basically created the four materials next we're gonna position our objects so that they face the camera by pressing shift d we duplicate the monkey push it aside and rotate it a bit shift d again to duplicate this one and rotate it on the z axis and move it right here shift d again and repeat the same process for this one too you've got four monkeys with the first one selected go ahead and apply the rough gold material with the second one selected go ahead and select the polished gold with the third one selected go ahead and select the polished gold i should have renamed this to polished silver let me do that so good with the last one selected rough silver good you can now render them and see after this go ahead and position your camera click on view align view align active camera to view bring this panel up and select lock camera to view so you can zoom in and position the camera wherever you want it to be like so then untick the lock camera when you got the right perspective right click to select the plane click on new you can leave it at the default diffuse bsdf or bring it to uh, principal bsdf and increase the roughness to maybe 0 0.6 or so and scale it up good let's move on to add additional lightning to our scene so back to solid viewport shading mode shift a to add a mesh plane and pull it up you can scale it down a bit and with this mesh selected this plane mesh selected go ahead and add two array modifiers the first one will be a count of five and the offset will be 1.5 the second one will be a count of five this is the first one but the x value here will be zero and the y 1.5 we just want to create this grid now pull it back a bit so that is behind our camera and press R to rotate them so that they rotate or it rotates slightly facing our scene go ahead and add a new material and another surface change from diffuse to emission this material will be emitting light into our scene 
go to view camera bring it up and then hit rendered increase the emission strength to 5 and let's see what we have you can come up here and turn the eye of the plane off to see why it is needed with the eye off we can see that these reflections on our materials are from the world and the lamp or sun source but when we turn on the the eye of this plane you can see that we get some additional reflections too on the nose so it's necessary to add more additional lighting to make your objects reflect and create a beautiful scene good We are almost there. Right click on the plane again and change the color to somewhere bluish. Yeah. Like so. When our rough metals are far away from the camera, the details on them seems to be very hard to see. Let's let's bring down the scale of the rough silver to 100 and then bring down the scale of the gold to rough gold to 100 you now see much noise in their reflections that's looking good change back to solid viewport shading mode and select the four monkeys press m to move them to the second layer and press shift and right click to select both layers come here to the layer tab layer layer panel here click on the little plus icon here to add a new render layer and rename this to metals the metals layer is affecting only the second layer where we have only the monkeys that's the metal layer and this first layer is having only our first scene while pressing shift click on the second layer to add the two layers together so we have the metals layer and the render layer let's go ahead and render this for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to leave my camera resolution to 1280 by 720. let's see how our scene is looking while looking into the camera You can see that while dealing with these kind of metals, these kind of glossy shaders and the rest, you can you can see some white little dots on the screen like fireflies. To control this, come over here to light paths and increase the filter glossy to let's say 0.5. No, 5. Good. Come down here and also take transparent then go over to the sampling and increase the rendering for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to leave it at 50. so we can we can go ahead and hit the render icon It's done rendering, but we don't see our materials we created in the scene. It's not a mistake. Let's go ahead and add it. So come here to the node editor and 
you can see that the first the first shader node is selected that's material the second one is the layer click on the layer and click on use nodes drag this thing here shift D to duplicate this one and change from render layer to metals you can plug it in and see we have our metals on this channel and our background image on this channel to combine the two shift a and then add uh, color alpha over and plug the image into the second output let's go ahead and add some glare effect to our metals so we know that this is a metal layer so shift a and add filter glare and plug it in right here and look at that increase the streaks to let's say six and then bring the threshold down to 0.7 0.6 and uh, quality to high and the fit to 0.85 or you can even increase it to 0.9 Let me try point eight. We try point eight. Eight. It's already looking beautiful. This is our image without the glare, and this is our glare input. It's looking beautiful. So, we are done with that. Another important thing you can do here is select the render layer, the background image, the background layer and click here denoise this will be denoising only the diffuse shader of the background image not the glossy not the transmission not the subsave with the metals layer selected you can click on the denoise and bring down the string to point two or point one After that, go ahead and increase your sampling for the final render. You can keep it at 2000 or so, but <laughs> the sake of this tutorial, I'm um, bringing it down to 100. Or you can even take here, just take here the square samples. But I'm leaving it at 100 for the sake of this tutorial. After that, go ahead and hit render and wait for the magic to happen. The rendering is done. It's looking beautiful. Let me save this image. Let me go back to the 3D view and let's go ahead and increase the scale of the Musgrave texture on these rough metals. With this one selected, 
rough silver roughness musgrave increase the scale to 200 and do same for the other rough uh, gold increase the scale of the musgrave to 200 can again hit render the rendering is done save the image you can compare the two images the one with musgrave scale of 100 and the one with musgrave scale of 200 which one do you prefer which one do you like this is Ruzel studios feel free to subscribe to our channel if you are interested in seeing more of these tutorials and don't forget to hit the like and then leave a comment below I really like and value your comments it is of great importance to me so please leave a comment and uh, don't forget to subscribe too stay tuned thanks bye